Yeah, ready? Uh-huh. Ah! You hear that? Like, oh, fuck! Oh! I had to feel bad doing it to him, but not really. The Stinger Tactical has sent me some... Oh, shit. So this is the Stinger Tactical Whip. Self-defense whip. The guy... Oh, God, oh my God. <laughs> you hurt yourself. That I, I feel like when he showed me this, he sent me the message, I was like, I'm going to hurt myself with it. That, oh my God. Hold this. So it's just a steel cable, but with a plastic sleeve around it. Uh, at the other end, the handle is essentially a coupeton with a little glass breaker tip on it and a lanyard. And they also sent us a few pieces of tempered glass to test out, you know, that glass breaker. That is going to hurt someone. We need to have shoes on. I feel like it's, from a safety standpoint, if you get hit with a baton, you can maybe take that. How many hits do you think you can take with this? I don't know if I want to hit you. All right, in this video, <laughs> uh, we're going to test the sting combat stinger. What the fuck is this? Stinger tactical self-defense whip. This It's a fucking whip. We're going to test this out. I'm... I've been beating on Jay for so long. Everyone gets mad at me for beating on you. I'm going to let you hit me with it. We're going to go up by percentages. What do you? How, what percentage do you think I'm going to be able to take? Yeah. Um, 25. Fuck it, I was thinking 10. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if you pulled this thing out. I'd be like, I'm good. I think it only takes one shot. I don't think you can hit somebody in the face with this. No, that, I think you would rip somebody's face open if you did. You'd fuck them up. All right, um, let's start with, uh, let's where start am I hitting you? The arm? You want to like the back? I think that's like meteor? Like, uh, let's start with the arm. All right. Just 5%. That's, you call that 5%? I don't know. All I, right. just, I don't want, I don't know how hard it's going to Give go. me, give me a, give me 10%. No, like follow through, man. Mmm. 15%. Mm. That's 15%? Yeah. I feel like it's... That's hard. <laughs> that's not 25. That was a little high. Yeah. That's a little low. Think so? That one. Give me that one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, hit my wrist. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Careful. Got a little poker on it. Here. I don't want to hit you anymore. <laughs> That's sweet. I like feel bad. These are like USB chargers and um, like a phone holder that have um, like a window breaker and a seatbelt cutter built into them. You clip this on your air vent and hold your phone, you plug that into your lighter, and you will always have these. Part of the problem with all this self-defense gadgetry is people aren't going to be carrying that shit around. Yeah. But like that, you'll know where that is. If your car like rolls over, yeah, that's in the... you know where that's going to be. Let's check that shit out. Like it, a lot of people buy shit and they just put it somewhere and then never. You're going to be caught in that situation and not know how to use it. Dude, that's so easy. Well, because you don't have to hit it because this was spring loaded. You even kind of hold it. You know what I mean? You can punch that through. Is that it? There it went. Yep. That was easy. That was really easy. So that's, um, this stuff on their website is like, that's a no brainer. Yeah. You need these in your car anyway. All right, give me, oh, God. Uh, give me like um, 10, 10%. Where, on the back? Yeah, just cross them. All right. Oh my God. You don't want 25 in that, do you? The tip, I felt the tip. Uh, yeah. Ah! All right, give me um, give me like twenty percent. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't feel good, does it? No. You want to give it to me? Right here. Yeah, not. Yeah. Five percent. This is five percent. Alright? Okay. 
Fifteen percent. Yeah. I'm gonna give you one twenty percent shot, and then you're done. If you're okay with it. Yeah. All right. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing, but literally I was going like this. Yeah. Oh, this thing fucking hurts. Here. You want what? You trying to get hit with it again? No, man. No. Oh. So you want to hit shit? Yeah. Let's go find some shit to hit. So we're gonna turn this into a gift. Yep. Give me a, give me a, um, give me a, um, like a, uh, uh, 20%, 20% on the leg. Oh, God! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! You barely moved it! Yeah. Ow. But I want to find something that replicates flesh. All right, I need to quit bullshitting around. So the issue was, is we put some stuff up on the Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should follow me at I see Mike P. We said 20%, it wasn't really 20%. And I'm thinking that I did not give it a fair shake. So let's start with 10. Are we doing this again? Right? Yeah. Oh, the Just arm? 10, yeah, start with that. This would be like someone's reaching for you, right? 10. Let's go 20, right? Reaching. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Whoa! Probably right at the end of that. Oh! Oh, if we call that even 20, I don't know if it'll tear flesh because it's got that rubber casing on it. Give me one just like that right here, right? Oh! Phew. <laughs> it went in my armpit. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh my god. All right. What do you want? Twenty. Um, Twenty again. Give me, uh, give me like a fifteen percenter to warm up. Give me a cliff one so we can feel it. No, he's no, not gonna do that shit. Really he knows better. better. Yeah. Ready? Uh huh. Ah! You hear that? Like, oh. <laughs> Oh! I had to feel bad doing it to him, but not really. <laughs> oh! Fuck! What does it look like? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Especially right there where it hit. Oh, oh. look at this one. That was the one I got in your armpit. Is it, what does it look like? A whelp. Oh. At least you say whelp. A lot of people say whelp. They say you put whelps on me. <laughs> whelp? Yeah, no, a whelp, no, a whelp is like a, like a puppy or like a baby seal. Fifteen? <laughs> yeah, right here. Mmm! No! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Fuck! Oh, my God. I put it where he wanted it, too. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. And that's after like two seconds of it. Ah. Oh. Shows right up. But, you know, from the other day, they were gone like the next day. So, my final thoughts on this thing. I think this is a very, very dangerous and effective weapon. But is it a self defense tool? Now, if we look at this as a deterrent, if you whip this and hit somebody with it, I think they're going to stop what they're doing. I've never done crack or meth, so I don't know how the type of pain that this inflicts would be affected by that. You know, if you say, well, what about a guy who's all hopped up on whatever? I think it fills a lot of the same holes that the baton does. I think this is probably even more effective than a baton. But as far as recommending this for use as a self-defense tool, I, I just think it's too theoretical at this point. And the guy, I told him, I said, you know, by the time I finish this review, it's unlikely I'll recommend that someone carry this for self-defense. And he totally understood because he did say that this thing is a lot of fun. And obviously you can tell we did have a lot of fun. So if you're the type of dude that buys nunchucks at the flea market, 
then you should probably get one of these. And it suffers from the same downsides as most non-lethal weapons, anything that's not a gun or a knife, in that if you get into a clinch or wrestling match with somebody, you know, it, it's hard to bring it to bear, but you don't have to turn your hip over in order to put power into this. It doesn't require skill, it doesn't require strength, it doesn't require technique. It hurts regardless. Unlike the baton, where it doesn't really work at all until you hit them in the head, and then they might die, and this... Uh, is a lot more dangerous than the butt of most expandable batons. The whip has a great track record of effectiveness when it comes to compliance. Like, but that's a really dark, really negative connotation. So whenever you use something, you're going to have to answer for it. Now, of course, if we're talking about someone trying to kill you, pride rules, all bets are off, aim where you please, do what you want. But if we're talking like a less lethal self-defense encounter or use of force encounter, we're not trying to kill the person, we're trying to deter the person or gain compliance. I think this would be effective, theoretically, but I just, I'm not sold that we have enough data on carrying it. Now, the phone holder and the USB charger and the other products from Stinger Tactical, those all make total sense. You need those things anyway, and if you have to come help somebody or you have to get yourself out of your car, you'll know where those things are. Uh, I'll put links down in the description below to all that stuff. Now, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.